Tonight marks one month since two Americans who volunteered to fight for Ukraine were captured by Russian-backed forces. It was in the fighting uh, north of Kharkiv in the Donbass region where Alex Drukey and Andy Hoon, both veterans from Alabama, went missing last month less than five miles from the Russian border. Both were later confirmed captured by Russia, and we learned Drukey was able to make a phone call home this past Friday, his fifth since he was taken into custody. In the call, Juki tells his mother that he is not currently in any danger. I take a listen. Uh, I'm doing fine. Um, no, no real danger updates. Um, uh, I saw him yesterday. We met with our lawyer. He's doing uh, really well. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Um, I talked to uh, Michael today. He uh, joined number, um, and then I, I got the two. Uh, for more on the Americans captured abroad and on the state of her son, I'm joined now by Alex's mom, Lois Bunny, uh, Drew Key. Bunny, thank you, thank you for being with us tonight. Um, I've been following your son's story very, very closely. Um, I would imagine it, it must be somewhat comforting to hear his voice on those phone calls and to hear him say um, that he's not in any danger. Yes, Brian, thank you for having us on here. Uh, it's so important for us to keep their story out there. Uh, you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Well, I like to say the squeaky wheel gets the release because we want our boys released. Um, it, it is um, always a pleasure to hear his voice in some ways, and in some ways it's very difficult to hear it and know that I, I don't really know what his circumstances are or... Uh, when I'll see him again. Do you know when he's going to call? That's one thing I was thinking about earlier. I mean, do you do you have an idea so you can be by the phone or do the calls just come randomly? They come randomly, which is why I'm never without my phone now. Um, I, I just, I never know. Uh, I know that they tend to center around midday for me, which is evening for him. Uh, so I'm especially careful during those times when I think that there's a possibility that he might call. Yeah, I can't imagine. I mean, of course, I would have my phone with me all the time, uh, all the time, too. Have you gotten any new information, Bunny, from the U.S. government or from the State Department uh, about what's going on behind the scenes? Has there been any progress made? Um, there has been some progress made. The State Department uh, let me know yesterday that uh, Ukraine, they have, the U.S. Embassy has spoken to the Ukrainian Embassy, and the Ukrainian Embassy uh, has assured us that they are now working on Alex and Andy's case. Um, of course, these things take time. And I also heard about an hour ago from the International Red Cross that they are still not able to get into the area to check on Alex and Andy's uh, well-being, but they continue to try. It is an active war zone, and so they haven't been able to go in, And uh, but they're still trying. So I know I'll feel better when somebody has laid eyes on them. Absolutely, of course. When you talk to your son on the phone, I mean, obviously, you know your son, you know his voice. Do you get the sense that he is okay? Or is this just something they're making him say? A lot of the times they are making him say statements, uh, such as when I asked, uh, what did he have to eat that day? And he paused for quite a while and finally he said, food. I had food, I had food and water and I had enough. And I thought, Hmm, that doesn't sound like it, but I just said, well, I'm glad that you have enough because you could tell he was very, very tense as he said it. And I certainly didn't want to get him in any kind of trouble. Of course. Yeah, I'd imagine you have to be careful. Listen, Bunny, I've seen so many of your interviews with Marnie Hughes on News Nation Prime. And every time I see you on, I am so touched by the way you are fighting um, to, to bring your son home. And I just look forward to when we can do this interview with your son by your side. I, I, I can't wait for that moment. Um, and, and I know you can't Me either, too, but Brian. thank you for coming on tonight.
Thank you again, Brian, so much for helping us get this story out. We really, really appreciate it. You got it. it. So we're, we're with you, buddy. We won't give up and we'll, we'll keep covering it, I promise. Thanks for coming Thank on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.